everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today is something day of the feisty festivus. <laughs> I don't know, I laugh every time I say it because it just, I don't know, for some reason it just cracks me up. Uh, so today uh, we're going to talk a little Chanel. I have my brows done, my face, uh, complexion is on, I don't have anything else on, but I did pick up the new Rouge Coco Flash Shade. This is in Coco Club. And I just thought since we picked this up, we could do a little, you know, face of Chanel kind of thing. I just think it's a really pretty red for the holidays. It's a very much of a blue red. If you're not familiar with the um, Rouge Coco Flashes, they're basically like a glossy lip. They are a little bit more sheer. Um, you know, my favorite one, I think Boy is probably my, well, there's a lot I like, but I mean, they're a really good, uh, quick and easy look. They do transfer. So if you're looking for something to wear under a mask, I do not suggest these, but they are beautiful shades. Um, and I wanted to pick up the newest. So I figured, you know, I'd pick up the new one and we'd play with a little bit of Chanel. So let me put my hair back. Um, the number for this is 136 Coco Club. That's actually the name of it. And I also picked up, since I was on the site, and I was like, well, why not? I picked up the Tweed Pink Blush. Now, I've mentioned a couple of times how much I like the Chanel blushes, but I've never bought any of the Tweed blushes. So um, the Chanel blushes come in like a round, uh, domed look. The Tweed blushes look exactly like you think they would, like a Chanel Tweed coat. So I thought that would be fun to try because I've never tried one. Um, and then I picked up a shade uh, of eyeliner that I've wanted to get for a long time. And I don't know why I never bought it other than, I don't know, I'm buying too many new things. It's called Black Wood. And all it is is a black that has a brown undertone. That's it. Uh, and I just think it's a really pretty shade. I think for me, I... I definitely do black liner, but I don't do as much black liner. Uh, it's a little stark against my skin, especially in the winter when my skin is very pale. Talking about pale, we are gonna use some bronzer. Let's see, let's go in with the Chanel, which shade is this? This is the LeBeige's Sunset. And if I could find my brush, here we go. All right, so let's bronze up the skin a little bit. I'm not gonna go overboard. Today I think I'm gonna do a pretty uh, basic look, simple look. The lip will be the highlight of the look, if you will, because it is a, although um, sheer-ish shade, it is a bright red shade. So I don't really wanna do like too much. Um, Lately, I've just felt like doing more of, you know, a simpler, lighter look. Um, I'm not sure if that's time of year and I'm just really, really busy, or maybe I've been locked up too long. <laughs> Who knows? Um, all right, let's take the Illuminating Peach Highlighter, going in with the Artist Collection Medium Size Brush by Wayne Goss. I think part of it is, um, you know, the holidays are so busy for everyone. And even now when we're not traveling, um, there's so much to do, you know, with just family and cooking and putting up ornaments and decorations and addition to job and everything else that I think I've kind of been leaning towards more a one and done kind of look. Maybe you guys are totally different, but for me, that's that's been the way it's been lately. So let's um, swatch the pink tweed. It feels like there's, and there's the shade. Can you see that? You really can't see that on me. Let me try, let me try like this way. It's really hard to see on my skin tone. Uh, but it's like a bright, there we go. Can you see that? Like a bright pink, really pretty. Um, so it's not smooth like the, domed. Can you see? There we go. It's got texture to it. That's really interesting. Okay. Let's take, this is the, 
classic cheek. Pick that up really well on the brush. You can see it on the brush. So I'll tap a little extra off. Ooh, really pretty. It's kind of like a Barbie pink, but it has, it has a little shimmer to it. That's interesting. It's got like, it's got shimmer, but it's not like, it's not a unflattering shimmer. It's like a little glowy shimmer that just looks really pretty. Oh, I love that. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not gonna show up on you if you have medium or deeper skin, just my opinion, but this is very light. Like this is light, light. I mean, you saw it on me. This is, this is more of a, a denser brush. I didn't even use a super soft brush. And you, I mean, I, I didn't pick up a ton, but this shade, it's light. It's a light, like almost like Barbie pink, but it's got what I'm gonna call a mature sparkle. <laughs> yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know if you can pick up on the sparkle, but I really like that. I'm gonna have to check out the other Tweed blushes. I don't know how many shades there are, but that is gorgeous. That is, it's really different, but I love it. Um, then I'm gonna take the Cure Brune. This is the um, Chanel one, um, Brown shade that came out for the holidays. And I'm gonna use this all over my eye. And I'm gonna use a brush that my good friend Ashley bought for me. Ashley sent me a whole bunch of brushes, which you did not have to do, Ashley. This is the Wayne Goss number six. Ashley is like the sweetest person on the planet. So we're just gonna put this all over the eye. My eyes are a little um, scaly today, guys, sorry. They are recovering from who knows what. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, something I put on my eyelid that it didn't like. Uh, perfume that I was trying that it didn't like. I don't know. Stress in general. But they're healing. What happens is, like people have asked me a couple times, so what do you mean scaly? Think of when your skin, if you've ever had this, um, gets burnt. Like if you get a sunburn and it starts to heal. It like heals, but then it starts to like peel. That's kind of what happens to my eyelids. It looks a little bit like that. Um, and it also looks just a little scaly and a little patchy, like super dry skin. Um, and that's like the good part. That's when it's like healing. So that's like a good sign. Um, but anyway, you know, it is what it is, right? What can you do? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the black wood liner and I'm gonna line my lower lash line and upper lash line with it. These Chanel liners, if you don't have any of these, I would really recommend them. I have them in practically every color at this point. Um, I think I'm missing one or two. And every time they come out with one, I pick one up because they are phenomenal. Really, they are. I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss 05 and just smudge it out a little bit. Oh yeah, I love that. Great look. Okay, let me curl my eyelashes, put on some mascara. I'll use the Chanel and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the eyes done. All that is, guys, is the I never get the name right. Cure Brun, the 928. This is the holiday single shadow. Um, and the black wood and some mascara, the Chanel mascara. That's it. Really simple look, so easy to do, but I think looks phenomenal and like just really professional and nice. Um, the blush, I love. I love this tweed pink. I didn't think, I'll be honest, I wasn't like sure about it because it's pink, 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 but. I really, really, I heard some good things, so I was like, I'm gonna try. All right, so the star of the show, the Coco Club. Let's see how it looks. 
I think if you were looking for a holiday lipstick, this is an excellent choice. So it is a very glossy red, um, pinky red uh, that has like a holiday vibe to it. I'm not sure what it is in here. It's got like a shimmer in here. Um, I'll have to read online how they describe it, but it's not at all a flat red or just a red red. It's like a glossy, I mean, yes, it's glossy because it's Cocoa Flash, but there's something else. It's almost like a gold or like particle underneath. I can't explain it. Um, it just looks shimmery. It's really very pretty. It's a beautiful shade. Um, I think this is going to be. I think this is going to be a great holiday shade. I'm glad that I picked it up. It's really beautiful. It has an 18 month shelf life, so you know, hopefully um, this will last a very long time, and I will be able to wear it and not worry about it transferring on any masks. So I will not be wearing a mask. Uh, but again, this is the newest shade that was just launched. I think it's a great holiday color. I really, really like it. I think with a simple look like this one, I think that works really well. I think it would work with a number of different looks, but I, I do like this, you know, just keep it kind of simple on the eyes with a bright red lip. I think that looks great. Um, so yeah, I think I really like the lipstick, the blush I love, the black wood I've been wanting to get for a while. It's just a little softer than a black, that's all. And I think um, for me, because I am so pale, I. I like it. I also think for me, um, the little bit of brown, a little bit of warmth in the liner uh, brings out my blue in my eyes a little bit more. It's a contrasting color, um, like an orange and a blue are contrasting. So when you get a liner that has more of that orange brown warmth to it, uh, it will make blue look more blue. So that tends to be why I go towards more bluish, I mean towards more um, warm brown, something that has like a warmer brown undertone in a liner. If I want my eyes to look more gray, then I go towards a cooler liner. Uh, my eyes shift a little bit, my eye shade. They're not truly blue, they're kind of a grayish blue, and they do shift depending on what's, you know, contrasted with them. Um, my sister has blue eyes that are like blue blue, and they just look startling, gorgeous blue no matter what she does. I did not get those. <laughs> Mine changed color. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. This was a lot of fun. Um, you know, some old, some new. You know, I'm a huge Chanel lover, so I love trying new Chanel products. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.